What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Club and Country. This is the fifth episode in the series and we start today's episode off with a game against Shami Noirtois for the first game of today's episode here away from home. Now I want to say straight away guys if this is the first series of mine you've watched then you may be unaware that I mispronounce a lot of player names and team names and words just in general. Uh, I do apologize for that. This team name I probably got horribly wrong as well. I did look it up before the game but um, yeah I mispronounce pretty much everything. So if you hear me say a word or a player name or a team name and I get it horribly wrong please do forgive me because it happens an awful lot of the time and I do try my best to try and look it up and you know try and work out the right way to say it but I'm just not very good at pronouncing words and stuff so I do apologize for that but uh, if I'm struggling I'll just call them the home or the away side but uh, still we travel away from home for the first game of today's episode here the first of three games in today's episode now this side are currently sitting in second place in the second tier of French football we've dropped down a third after our draw against the league leaders Stade Laval in the last episode. That was a really important draw for us in that one. Uh, we did have to have two draws in a row though. Obviously that draw against Stade Labellois finishes a 2-2 draw. The game before that was a 1-1 draw against Le Havre. So coming to this game at half time with a score being at 0-0. The home side were dominating possession. We had had some chances. We had another good one here two minutes after the break. But I was struggling really to get the ball off them in the first half. In the second half I began to get hold of the ball a little bit better. Managed to dictate tempo a little bit and play sort of Paris FC football the way I want to play a Paris FC during this series. Good possession based football with quick counter-attacks as well. We had a great chance to open the scoring here from a penalty as well in the 53rd minute. Thierry Ambrose got himself inside and was taken down when going to shoot. Some people may have said it was debatable that he was taken down as he was about to shoot with the right arm of the home side's uh, player. And as you can see, Thierry Ambrose scores once again and he's now got eight goals in his last six games. An unbelievable run Thierry Ambrose is on right now. He converts the penalty. I do believe it's his second one of the season so far. Rifles the boys in the top corner as the goalkeeper is rooted to the spot and our captain has already reached double figures this season. It's just absolutely incredible. I was not predicting this when we signed him for £650,000. He has just been incredible. In stoppage time, we had a good chance to wrap up the points here. Socrier goes for goal, but it's a great save by the goalkeeper and eventually cleared away as he still searches for his first goal of the season. But it was how the game would finish though. Final score, Paris FC 1, uh, Chami Noirtois 0. Is that how you pronounce that? I'm sure it's horribly wrong. I'm sorry about that. We get the win regardless by a goal to nil. As you can see in the second half though, come the stats, come the end of the game, we completely dominated possession in the second half after being dominated in the first half. We really came out of our shells in that second half. I was desperate to make sure we wouldn't have three draws in a row and you may say scraping the game by a goal to nil isn't great, but this side was sitting in second place. Stade Lavalois were in first place when we faced them in the game before that one. You know, we had to make sure we got a win in that game because in the French second tier, there's only two promotion spots, just the first and the second place. They get promoted to the first division in France and there's no playoffs at all it's just those top two teams that go up so with us with Paris FC here we need to make sure when we're taking on these sides that are in the top two positions or we're taking on sides that are around the top of the table we have to get the win we can't just be settled with the draw we have to get the three points because we want to make sure that in our debut of Paris FC we go up to the first tier of French football for next season we can't afford to stay in the second tier for more than one season in my opinion we need to go up straight away and as you can see after that win we have now gone back into second place after we dropped down into third after the league leader Stade Lavalois did draw with us in the game before last. So right now they are the team to beat with uh, the, as you can see top of the table after nine games. We're in second place right now and already four points behind them. So it is going to be very difficult for us this season to try and get ourselves up to the first tier of French football. It is going to be a competitive division for us but either way we made a very impressive start and the man leading the line and leading the team right now Thierry Ambrose has made a very impressive start with eight goals in his last six games and ten goals in his first nine for the season. So a fantastic start for Thierry Ambrose. And we take on Stab Brest for the second of three games in today's episode here back at home. Desperate to make it two wins from two and keep the undefeated start alive. And the first chance the game would fall to us in the 13th minute and the first goal would fall to us as well. It's a first goal of the season for Nicholas, our number 12. Enzo Fernandez, the son of Zinedine Zidane getting his second assist in three games. Lovely through ball there and a really good finish by our number 12. We've got three strikers in this team alongside Thierry Ambrose. This guy here, Socrier, and a young striker as well. Not sure who I want as the main strike partner for Ambrose this season, but he's the first one out of those three to get a goal alongside Ambrose, and he does make it Paris FC 1 at Stab Brest nil. But three minutes before the break here, the away side had a fantastic chance to equalise as they won themselves a penalty. My number 19, the big stocky centre-back, I thought got all of the ball and none of the man here as he gets the ball clear. I thought this was a really harsh penalty decision, but on closer inspection, as you can see from the replay, I think there was a 
a little bit of contact and I think the referee called that one right. So penalty to Stav Brest and a great chance for them to equalise just before the break. We've already had two games this season where we conceded just before the break where we thought we'd be going into the break leading but as you can see this time we're not going to concede just before the break so our goalkeeper pulls off the save from a penalty. It's a fantastic stop but it's still Paris FC 1 Stav Brest 0. So I have to say I'm really liking the goalkeeper in this team. You know he's quite experienced, 31 years old. He's doing a really good job to begin the season off. He's already grown a rating or two as well. Very impressive start for him and he does save the penalty to keep it at 1-0. In the second half, Stav Brest should have equalised there. They had a free header at the far post with the goal gaping but headed the ball off target and behind for a goal kick. A really bad miss and that was their last chance in the game really. We had a chance to seal the three points in the 90th minute as Grange goes down the right hand side, takes it around his man with a fake shot, crosses the ball into the centre, picks out his man at the far post and Thierry Ambrose in stoppage time wraps up the points and makes it Paris FC 2, Stab Brest 0. So he was having a pretty quiet game until this moment and I was thinking maybe Ambrose is going to die down now, maybe he's going to stop scoring those goals but Ambrose was fighting till the end, desperate to get himself another goal and he does what get one there and get his 11th goal for the season so far and that is now 9 goals in 7 games for Thierry Ambrose. The run goes on 7 consecutive league games where Ambrose has found the back of the net. He's our Jamie Vardy, you know, he's our Jamie Vardy right now. I don't know what the record is in the French second division for most goals scored in consecutive games or I should say most games uh, most consecutive games with a goal scored I should say but either way Thierry Ambrose right now is playing like Jamie Vardy every time he steps on the pitch you know it's it's not a question of will we get the win it's a question of will Thierry Ambrose get a goal in this win you know like, that's what we're hoping for right now we want Ambrose to keep on scoring because the run he's on has just been fantastic he's also grown another rating after the player training as well he's now up to a 68 overall that's fantastic to see I don't know what overall he'll be come the end of the season I'm hoping for a 70 or a 71 but we'll have to wait and see and also a scouting update too it's our first report from our scout he's picked us up a decent goalkeeper 42 to 58 overall and 69 to 94 potential after the first month of scouting but of course with uh, scouting after a couple of months or so they could look significantly worse so we're not going to sign him straight away we're not going to risk the money we'll be spending on him we're going to wait and see how he looks after another month or two's worth of scouting because you know with Paris FC it's going to be all about saving money and you know for big clubs when it comes down to signing academy players who don't work out usually it's not a big deal but with Paris FC we're taking a gamble if we sign a youth player if we sign a youth player for like £20,000 or however much it costs 18000 I think it is that's a gamble for us you know that's a lot of money for us to spend so we need to make sure whatever youth players we put into the academy they're good enough to go into the first team the last thing we want to do is waste £18,000 or so on a player who's not going to get any game time here so we'll have to wait and see how he looks after another month of scouting and hopefully he'll be okay so we take on Critail for the third and final game of today's episode here and the first chance would fall to us in the ninth minute but it was a great save from the goalkeeper denying Nicholas from this free kick but from the corner it's crossed in by Boga towards Thierry Ambrose and you know when Ambrose is going for a header when Ambrose is going for a shot you just expect him to find the back of the net and that's exactly what happens here Thierry Ambrose has now got his 10th goal in his last eight games and that is now eight consecutive league games where Thierry Ambrose has scored so he really is the French Jamie Vardy right now no one is stopping Thierry Ambrose this goalkeeper certainly isn't what a fantastic header by the young man he just leaps like a salmon heads it in off the underside of the bar gets so much power and accuracy behind it honestly this guy right now is looking like he could finish anything from anywhere he is just fantastic our skipper has another goal to his collection this season that is now 12 for this season already and I was targeting 15 goals for him I always target around 15 goals for a debut striker but I'm saying this right now he's on course to hit about 35 goals this year and if he doesn't get to 25 I'll call it a failure I mean that's just that's ridiculous isn't it but I'll genuinely call this season a failure for Thierry Ambrose if he doesn't get to 25 goals because the start he's had has been fantastic and this young man's been playing quite well as well Abdu Aziz Tiam who he signed from Monaco I do believe our first sign of the series gets his second goal for the club here both have actually come from corners funnily enough first time a header this time a lovely cushioned side foot half volley really nice finish there with the left foot into the back of the net both our goals coming from corners in the first half we had a pretty good first half as well did forget to show the stats so sorry about that but in the second half not much really happened until the 34th minute sorry the 34th minute from the 85th minute when from 34 yards our striker Nicholas gets his second goal in two games and this has to be a contender for goal of the season already what a goal from our number 12 from this free kick and is our first free kick goal of the series but it is really funny because if you watch my club and country series last year you may remember that we used to score a lot of goals like this where we won ourselves free kicks and we just levered the ball with the L1 in circle button and put some curl on it as well and managed to score
score a lot of drilled free kicks. We've scored one here. It's so funny how that's happened again. But Nicholas scores an absolutely sensational free kick with the L1 a circle button. That genuinely is just luck and not skill. I honestly just powered down the circle button, held down L1, put a little bit of curl on it, and just crossed my fingers and hoped for the best. And as you can see, Nicholas does get his second goal in two games. And that is all luck, guys. Seriously, there was no thought behind that free kick. I just thought I'll see what happens, and I cannot believe we scored it. But we did. It's 3 0 to Paris FC, and that is how the game would finish as well. So, two solid, sorry, three solid wins in a row. Very, very pleased with that. A really comfortable 3 0 scoreline for us. The home side did have some chances, but most of their attempts were sort of half efforts, really. Didn't really cause our goalkeeper too much of a sweat, and we did get ourselves the win by three goals to nil. So, the fantastic start of the season continues. Thierry Ambrose has now scored in eight consecutive league games. His strike partner scored two and two as well, and everything is coming together really nicely here with Paris FC. But that does it in the episode, guys. So, thank you very much for watching the video. I really hope you have enjoyed it. If you enjoyed today's episode of Club and Country, then please do leave a like, so it's much appreciated, and read us how much I'm allowed, and I'll see you for the next episode of Club and Country very soon.